one thing I wish every single woman struggling to conceive would get tested for, but almost nobody really does. If you've been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, your doctor probably ran your thyroid panel. And if you're really, really lucky, they even tested you for T4, T3 and antibodies or not just TSH. They would have been really lucky and that would be great. But that's not the full story. The real question is, why is your thyroid underperforming in the first place? Why? Have you asked yourself that? And there's one mineral deficiency that can cause hypothyroidism, and that is, et voila, iodine. Iodine is a raw material your thyroid uses to produce thyroid hormones. Without iodine, your thyroid literally can't function. Your metabolism also then slows down, this is why you're gaining weight, ovulation becomes irregular or stops altogether, progesterone just goes wherever it goes, but it goes, and your fertility is directly affected. Now, before you run to the store and start supplementing, I want you to take a breath here. Iodine is incredibly powerful, but if it's taken incorrectly on the wrong dosage, it can make your thyroid worse, especially if you have Hashimoto's or other autoimmune activity. This is why iodine must be assessed properly and paired also with selenium, so important. And you better start as well with selenium and other cofactors that might trigger inflammation. So you need to do all of that. This is exactly what I teach step by step inside my fertility circle. I've got a protocol in there. I show you how to test and support your thyroid naturally to then improve your chances of conception. And if you're only treating your thyroid numbers and not asking why your thyroid is slow, you're really missing a critical piece of your fertility puzzle. So go join my fertility circle and let's fix this at the root.